Speak Up America. We want to hear your comments and show ideas. Give us a call at 1-900-SPEAK-UP. Let us know what you're thinking. We'll record your message to play in a future broadcast. We may even call you to be a guest on a show. So call 1-900-SPEAK-UP. Don't forget, the call costs $1. We'll be right back. star, the producer of Baywatch, our focus today. I heard, I heard that there's actually going to be a spin-off from Baywatch. Is that true, David? Yeah, we actually, <laughs> it's unbelievable. We, um, the show has become so popular, they asked us to do another Baywatch, and we said, well, okay. <laughs> so we're doing Baywatch Nights, and it's basically me and, uh, Gregory Allen Williams, who plays a police officer on the show, kind of a lethal weapon type thing. We're going to open up a private investigation office on the beach in Manhattan Beach, which is just south of Venice. And it'll be kind of like shot at night. So it's just really Baywatch at night. So it's going to be a little bit sleekier, a little sexier, a little more action, kind of Miami Vice. Sexier? Yeah. Oh my God, you're going to have the sensors <laughs> all over you. <laughs> so we know you have the two girls. Uh, right. Six and four. And no, four and two. Four, oh, four. So yeah, that's okay. four and two. Um, how long have you been married? Five years. Uh, where, were, where was your head at when you and Pamela got together? I mean, how uh, well, I, I was... I, actually, I just got Baywatch, and I had just gotten over a previous relationship. And when I, when I really let go of that is when everything came, came in. You know, and I just said, hey, grow up, you know, get, get on with your life, stop feeling sorry, and I did, and, and I didn't expect I was going to go out and play, you know, I was going to turn my house into Animal House. I did for one party, <laughs> and then um, I met Pam, oh, no, I'm in love, oh. and so, um, <laughs> oh, next thing I know is there's Taylor Ann, right there. She's much older than that now, she's, um, she's four, that was her when she was about one or two. Let's bring out. Mrs. Hasselhoff. Here is Pamela Bach, ladies and gentlemen. Pamela. Hooray! I get my kids It's so sweet. You look great. The question they all wanted to know, Pamela, do you get jealous? Uh, there can be moments. <laughs> <laughs> Is it those hot, but, steamy embraces? It, you know, it's when the those girls... Those sticky kisses? <laughs> it can be when you watch it on Stop TV. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be. It's when the girls... Uh, one girl said to me, you know, my very first kiss on screen with your, was with your husband, and he's a great kisser, and I went, oh, hey, you know? So what do you say? And then the stewardess on the way here says, please t uh, give your husband a kiss for me, okay? I said, okay, and you give <laughs> your husband a kiss for me, okay? I mean, they don't really... <laughs> <laughs> oh. To Carter, how did you meet and how do you find quality family time together? Well, we met, I did an episode of Knight Rider, it was probably about eight years ago. And um, so I worked on the show as a guest star for a week. And at the end of the week, anytime I do a show, I always take a picture with whoever I was with. And I have a picture of he and I. And I remember thinking, what a nice guy. But I was very much, at the time, I thought, in love. And so was he. But we just kept meeting each other. And then we were both single, and he asked me out. Yeah, I saw her. I said, are you still with? She goes, no. She goes, are you still with? I said, no. I said, let's be depressed together. <laughs> yeah. Where'd nice. you go on the first like date? Huh? We went to a press junket. Oh, God, yeah. And wow. he just said, it's going to be a small little thing. And um, we just really met, got to know each other from a different point of view. We get out of the car, and there were cameras everywhere. And he grabbed me and says, I guess we better get to know each other fast. Yeah. <laughs> then later, um, we went out to eat dinner. And then <laughs> he wouldn't drive me home, so, um... <laughs> but no, I had been drinking. Kate was broken down. It wasn't flying yeah, that day. I oh. said, honey, I... <laughs> <laughs> Kit, this guy asked me if the car really fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> and was it love at first sight after that? Or? Uh, no, I, I got to tell you guys, I slept in a separate bedroom. I slept with his sweats on. And the next day, we, it just kind of flowed. It was like there wasn't any calling. We became calling. friends, you yeah. know. We, we, actually, one of our first days, we, we went jogging, you know, walking no, along I Ventura Boulevard. She did. And he liked me. Yeah. <laughs> I went two miles. She went six. I hope you still don't have separate bedrooms. <laughs> well, obviously, you don't. You've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Two-year-old. Um, are you going to be on the new show, Baywatch at Night? I'm a recurring character on the show, and I play Kay Morgan, who is a reporter. So it's just recurring, but I'm also going to be doing a show called Sirens, which is a syndicated show also. Right, David mentioned that. See? You know, how do you fight all of those tremendous forces that tend to destroy celebrity relationships? Yeah, it is tough because you don't get any training in it. And there are times when I don't know who to turn to because nobody's in the same position. But I think if I don't look too far in advance and I just take it one day at a time and figure out what to do today with the children and be a family, then I can accomplish it. But it is difficult. It's a juggle. A lot it's of worth people it. have the same problems. I was okay. talking to this my director in in, um, in Canada, and his wife basically said, you know, I'm a single parent. I never see you. You know, as she was talking about her life, and I was just going, my God, that's exactly what Pam's going through. And it was great to get people together in the same business to share. That's not a know. bad idea. Maybe they should be. We should have an organization. Support, support groups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that Cece so will join, in the my wife face will join. Of yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, let's take this break. The Red Hot Hasselhoffs, plural. They're here. So, Pamela, what would be your life's aspiration, your biggest ambition right now? Oh, gosh. To be really self-centered is kind of hard for me because I'm such a mom. And that is my priority, is um, our four-year-old and our two-year-old. I guess ultimately would be to work and have them by my side. And I, you know, his uh, set next to my set, you know, but it, it will come. It will come. I'm going to go to Montreal and do sirens and we'll work that out. Where are the babies going to go? Back and forth. You know, I mean, I'll probably keep them. They'll for be on the week. air can of the shuttle. We're going to be on, yeah. But you know, it's it's you have to have that creative outlet, you know. Yeah. And and um, she did a really good job on Baywatch. Now it's really, I'm really proud that she got this other thing on. Are her. you on the pay-per-view special panel? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm uh, Mustang Sally. Mustang <laughs> Sally sounds terrific. Yeah, yeah. So consult your good. local uh, cable company. It airs tonight, 8 right. o'clock. Marla Maples Trump is in it, Jeremy Jackson, David Charvet, Pamela Anderson, and it's my first concert in America. Great. And Gregory Allen Williams, by the way, ladies, he can sing. Yeah, like Luther Vandross. This guy's hot. Thank you both. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much.